In the last episode, we had a tough decision to make and I think we came out on top of it. So let's see if we can repeat our luck there and let's play the Darkest Dungeon. We also did a lot of skill shuffling and stuff, so that was fun. And I feel much better prepared now. I do this actually to every hero I recruit because it's just a useful thing to do. Okay, so let's embark. And this time we can actually... Ooh, the Hound Master thing. That's actually really, really useful. Oh yeah, we can also now go to the wields, which are uh, infested with bandits and I think some eldritch creatures. The warrens are, especially in the cove, is also a bit of a special area. Uh, we'll look into those as as we get there. Uh, you'll want to assemble your party accordingly. For example, in the ruins you will find the undead and you will find those eldritch things. So the Vestal and the, the Crusader are really, really great there because most of those things are unholy. In the wields you can go with, for example, a lot of bleeding damage. Because that's what will really get you in there. Also we'll assemble a completely new party. This is a short quest, so we should not need too much, but we'll bring in the occultist. We'll bring in a bounty hunter. We'll take our jester and we'll take uh, one of the frontline characters. I think I'll go with this guy. Now if you click on that you will see that he has uh, the first three positions here. He has a few of Eldritch. I should probably check on that. Okay, I'm a bit worried about this Dark Temptation stuff here. Because this can really mess you up. But we'll go with it. We should unlock the Sanitarium next time. So I'm just hoping this will not get us too worried. Also it's interesting that the uh, Occultist does not have the Dark Temptation. <coughs> Okay, we'll go with uh, four of those, three of those, actually three should do, uh, three of those should do as well, four of those, can I, I can't shift click that, we'll get eight food and eight torches. I think that is uh, all we need, we still have a, a bit of money left over. But I usually spend around 4,000 on, on preparation and I try to not go below that before I embark. There are times when I mess up a dungeon and I will not get uh, that much money out of it again. But yeah, if you succeed that's pretty much a, a good count I think. You, you will still usually gain more of it if you win. The rewards also make it worth it and it's still, it always pays off to be over prepared and under prepared. It's a risky thing to not have all the stuff you need. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this <coughs> evil. I'm not sure where we gained those 20 stress points. I'm certainly not happy to have them, but we'll have to deal with them now. And there is a reason for bringing those shovels. A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Okay, the pack contains loot. Some food is always good. Torches as well. In radiance, may we find victory. Okay, come on, scouting. Yes. I like it especially because you see traps ahead. Oh, come on now. Oh, I'm glad we resisted the blight there. Well, that's the, the downside of those... Uh, um, of those compulsive disorders. Also, you have 80% chance to disarm, so you will be our disarms, disarming man, which will also grant you a bit of stress relief. Yeah, this was not a fighting room. We won't get a scout check again. And since there is no longer way, we'll just go here first and then we'll do the other route. Okay, so. The Abomination has a few skills that are more useful in the second row, however, you can transform and that's why he has all those skills. This will stress out the other people, but now you have some pretty amazing abilities. Transforming back will uh, remove some of the stress. Okay, you will just slice off something here. 
Uh, since this guy's already dead, I don't see a point in using the uh, skill that actually does... or that actually gets you... Uh, actually attacks both parties there. And we'll do some abyssal artillery. Nice. Yeah, the elimination heals some damage when he uh, transforms back. And you'll also remove some of the stress. Not all of it, mind you. Okay, also you can select which area you want to do uh, things with. Like various uh, interactions with the curios. Unless, of course, you have the... Uh, oh, shit. And we are surprised, even though we had the maximum light. And this is one of the times we actually want to have the... Uh, Oh, we can manacle. Can manacle this guy. And this is one of the times we actually want to have the finale, because now we could just finale back. However, this works too. And we're getting accused of shit again. Again, we're just starting to get accused. Okay, we'll want to get rid of those guys as soon as humanly possible. Because both of those can increase our stress to ridiculous levels. If you want to move back, I actually don't care about it, but I prefer... Actually, it doesn't matter. All of our skills can be used in the first line just as well. So we'll punch this guy in the face. At least he got the stun. I, d I didn't care about the... Uh yeah, this guy has a high protection. Not a reasonable protection. So he'll take less damage from most attacks, but it's okay. I actually will move the abomination forward next time. So this time we'll be bleeding. And this this will kill this guy, which is great. Okay, we'll manacle you. Actually this this uh, way the uh, party works out a lot better than I expected. We'll do the uh, vulnerability hacks on this guy. It won't cause damage, but it will mark this unit. And marking a unit will often allow you to do ridiculous amounts of damage with a bounty hunter. 8 is not bad, but yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of crits on that as well. So, uh, yeah, I, th I think you gain crit chance and stuff as well. If you could move him back one, that would be great. No? Fine, don't then. As I said, this can get you a lot of stress, so it's kind of annoying. So it does blight for a few turns. Actually, not a bad thing to do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, it's not as good as the... Uh, um, it's not as good as the... The... Uh, Plague Doctor's stuff, but it's still not bad to have. Also, we'll just mark this guy because he is the next in line for a beating. Okay, we'll just give both of these guys another bleeding debuff. So this guy is done. This guy will take four of those three rounds, which is not going to kill it, but screw it. And that's what I said about the bounty hunter. If you can get him uh, prepared, uh, like marked or stunned targets, you can finish them off ridiculously easy. And that's actually something really beautiful. Also, I think this does way more damage than this one. So if you only have one target, use the more uh, specific skill. Ooh, nice. And if you have more than one, also this guy takes seven damage now. So we can actually try to reconstruct this guy. He resisted the bleeding. We'll just move back, because I don't want to do this just yet. So that's what I said. Now that we know this guy will die when he has his turn, you can take the time to cure your party. Also, we get another journal page. That's really dead. A trample journal, part 4 out of 4. I am become vengeance! All cultists will feel my mace, brigands fear my roar. I am outnumbered, tis true. I am starved and half mad, but as long as there is breath in my body, I will press on. I will wreak unbearable agony on those who seek to despoil my great mans. And now they come. 
I douse my torch. I do not fear the darkness. This is my house and the road to the uninvited. That's uh, rather resolute. Also got some deeds and some food. There are also uh, things that give you a lot of food and as usual we'll use the key on the alien chest. If only treasure could staunch the flow. You should never be stingy on those uh, consumables. Okay, that's a battle. We need to go there anyway. There will be other quests than uh, explore and kill. Okay, and please don't don't touch that. Ah. Okay, do we have? No, we don't. We do not have a uh, bandage, so we just have to wait for this to wear off. Do we need to? Yeah, I think we can swarm. This will stress out the others, but we, we know how to deal with that. You can also transform back, but obviously not in the turn that you transformed into the monstrosity. And I know you're bleeding. The characters will often complain about uh, bleeding and stuff. There's nothing to be worried about too much. Now this is one of the downsides of the word reconstruction thing. Chances are you will get very, very low healing out of it. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay. Now that this guy is mostly sorted out. Oh, he's attacking. I, I thought we had another turn here. Okay, you can transform back, which will allow you to heal a bit of health and uh, gain some of that stuff back. We'll just absolve here. Cure some stress, and that's never wrong. And you will have to try and kill this guy, although I would be happy if we could just punch him into, uh, into stunning, but that works too. That works too. Okay, there's a room battle in here, which we need to do, and it's a rather unpleasant one as well, because those attacks can be quite devastating. Also, I think Rabbit Rush has a chance to actually inflict you with a disease, which is something you really don't want to. And you will realize that I'm using the same abilities quite a lot. That's just because they are so effective. Unless, of course, you miss. Uh, we'll have to transform here. And I will have to soon put my Jester on uh, stress relieving uh, duty. Rake. Okay, I'm happy with this guy being attacked because he can just stress, uh, can just absolve for all he wants. This should get us at least one kill, that's great. Also, some creatures don't leave corpses. I don't know why that is. They just don't. Also, now we don't have to worry about this guy anymore. Okay, you do stress relief. And this is why I tend to have a jester around. It can make the uh, longer adventure so much easier to just have this guy who, who can reduce your stress. Ow! In a single strike. And now we have the rabies as well. So this is a disease. Okay. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Once everything is done being uh, well done on its own. Could I now? Thank you. So you can see a rabies will give us extra damage, but it will reduce our accuracy. In general, diseases are never useful, so you'll want to get those sorted out as soon as possible. Sadly, we can't really sort anything out right now. We'll have to be in the town for that. And we just did more bleeding damage. So this was kind of backfiring on us. And now since we can't do anything else, we'll just uh, reduce stress. Execute At least that uh, it finally hit. I also like how you get this, uh, we'll continue adventuring for a bit. 
Okay, we have plenty of food, so once this uh, this bleeding has worn off, we will probably try and get this. Uh, we'll give him something to eat so he recovers a bit of uh, health. Come on, there we go. One, two, that should do. We still want to have at least about eight food around for the uh, hunger checks. Like this one. Because yeah, 20% damage is a lot over the one or two health that you will usually recuperate eating. It's also interesting that we only had like one or two room battles in this one. Also, we can use more food. Because we only need four uh, per hunger check. And we might gain more than that. And those, for example, would be perfect proteins to get. And we'll just resolve here. Okay, you harvest. Oh, resistance is bad. You don't want to resist you too much. Crits are good on the other hand, because crits often give you more than one um, person losing stress. And yeah, Grave Nibble does actually stun you as well. Luckily it didn't do it this time. No stress relief? Well, that sucks. Okay, you inspire yourself, please. I could just move him back, and in fact, it seems more and more tempting each uh, moment. We'll try to reconstruct the Jester, and this was a perfect outcome of this. I think you can also crit on that. Which we've seen, I think we've seen it in the first episode or, or in the second one. You can actually... Uh, oh, seriously. At least we got the positive outcome this time. But yeah, since we have two people with the paranormal thing... I think you're pretty safe to say you will always get somebody who can't hold his hands to himself and uh, will get you in trouble. Another scouting check, some battles, and some uh, some treasures. We should get that, and uh, hopefully... Oh, those are bad. I hate those. Those ectoplasms are capable of spawning more of them. So we'll have to transform here. Because those need to die. They need to die quick. And in a random out of fire, if possible. But if they just die, it's fine. Oh, come on, we have to get those rabies treated. We have to get that treated. Um, now, the thing about ectoplasm is they can continuously spawn more, and they can also spawn a big ectoplasm, which just kind of perpetu perpetuates itself. So those battles can take ages if you don't take the, the ectoplasm out right away. Yeah, we're still fine, though. We're a bit low on money, so we barely made more than we... Uh, uh, came in for, or came in with, if we resell all the stuff. But I think we're still good. And we also get a quest for war, so... Uh, yeah, it was kind of worth it. It was kind of worth it. I was expecting more curios, and I think we would have used a bit more stuff. Yeah, there we go. Four grand. We got four deeds, and somebody diseased. Okay, tough. Okay, okay, and uh, fragile. Well, thank you for that. That's something I don't particularly mind. There are also some rare curios that will allow you to treat a, dis or a negative quirk, or that will just take a random negative quirk away. This great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. Okay, we now have the sanitarium at our disposal, which is great. Uh, Dufay has gained a quirk, a positive one in that case, which is good. Sometimes you gain negative quirks. And a sanitarium. Great. We definitely want to remove some quirks now. Um, first of the... I would remove the Dark Temptation, but I want to get this treated. Rabies go away. Now, treating negative quirks is expensive. Can get pretty damn expensive. 
Can we get another jester? We only have two more uh, slots in the uh, barracks. So I'll go with those two heroes. The Hellion, because we don't have one. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. And we'll take the Occultist, because there is... To fight the Abyss, one must know it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, because uh, as you have seen, Occultists have powerful healing abilities. As well as they, they can mark enemies, which is something I tend to like because it allows you to it allows them to work very well in conjunction with other heroes like the Bounty Hunter and the I think the Hound Master as well, which is a class we don't have yet. But also, for example, um, the Highwayman with the pistol shot also gives more damage on uh, marked creatures. So that's definitely something you want to consider when you uh, send people out. Now we want to know uh, to get the kleptomaniac thing treated, or the dark temptation. Uh, both of those are things you definitely want to get rid of, but I think we'll take the dark temptation for now. This needs to go away. Now we don't have many uh, slots here, and that will I should have actually upgraded this first. Would have saved us a bit of money. <laughs> I tend to forget about that. Okay. I can't see what those do, but yeah, patient cells and uh, I think those increase the amount of uh, slots for both of those. And we'll just get those upgraded because we can. Curious methodologies and apparatus can calm even the most tormented soul. I just tend to upgrade as far as possible as soon as I get to it. Now, one thing we are going to use a lot less is the uh, survival list because there's not too much I want to learn there. First of all, let's get these two sorted out in the guild. Okay, we actually want the barbaric yarp, which I believe is a uh, uh, an allegation to the... Uh, is it an allegation? Like, it's a nod towards Robbie Wil Robin Williams, not Robbie Williams, with the uh, a rather famous movie he did. The uh, Dead Poets Club, I think it was called in uh, German. Okay, we want... Uh, we actually want to remove this for that. Yeah, that sounds fine. I actually want to keep this around and do that. Or do I want to keep this and attack the last one in the row? It's actually fine. And the Venoe here already has most of the skills I want him to have, so we'll just give him the Abyssal Artillery. And he will forget this skill and get that. I don't really care about uh, giving Occultus uh, melee skills, however we'll have to do something about... What did I send to the uh, Sanitarium? I think it was, uh, oh, you can also cancel it, but you will not gain your money back, so it's not worth it. Unless you really need that hero. Oh, Pantool. Okay, the Jester is currently in the sanitari sanatorium. Sanitarium? Isn't it usually the sanatorium? Oh, well. Uh, yeah, next time we will uh, venture into the Abyss again, and uh, hopefully get something else out of it. So until then, bye.